In this video, I want to walk you through what the timeline of the pastoral pl planning process looks like. And I'll just give kind of a, a broad overview of it. So it's been going on for a while already. Starting last year in 2021, uh, second part from July to December, the pastoral planning team from the Archdiocese has been putting, bringing together research data, putting together draft summaries of our current reality, as well as formulating the families of parishes that would form together, as well as the parameters um, to be followed. Um, all of this was presented then in February at our clergy conference to all of us priests. And so we were, they wanted to receive our feedback, um, get our input from the process. And, um, and this is right after that is basically when you, f you first heard about this pastoral planning process happening. The announcement was made. Um, so then while the archdiocese was then taking all of our feedback as priests into account, um, during that time, pastors were to identify various parish leadership representatives that would then be invited to uh, the spring planning kickoff sessions um, in late April and early May. And so these individuals would be uh, people that could effectively represent and communicate what's going on within this pastoral planning process to each of our various communities. So we would choose individuals from each of our parishes, and uh, especially those that are, are prayerful, mature disciples that are uh, um, open to helping our communities move along in this, this uh, missional vision, and also um, is able to see ourselves as, uh, as, as one church, uh, all working together to follow the Lord. After the kickoff sessions occur, then uh, from all of those parish representatives, from our large parish grouping, from those representatives, the priests are to choose about 12 additional members um, to form a pas family pastoral planning team that would consist of um, the priests that are involved in each of those parishes, those 12 members, and then one priest is assigned as a convener to kind of lead and set up the various meetings because it's the this planning team that would the, then beginning in May meet as often as needed to develop a planning proposal for the parishes within our grouping. That would then be sent to the Archbishop by November of 2022 and then approved um, and once approved then we would begin uh, after that uh, based upon the the timeline in that that would be approved um, as to how the various stages of implementation would occur and what the specific timeline for that would be so you can see in this that while much of the planning is being given to the leadership within the grouping to understand how we're going to implement it. There are certain things that really are non-negotiables that are given to us from the archdiocese, from the archbishop. And, and that is, you know, which parishes are in which grouping. Um, that's a given. As well as the parameters that need to be uh, applied. Uh, for the future, uh, which will look at those two realities coming up in uh, some future videos.